Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to display a pop-up menu in an Android application. So open Eclipse and start a new project. The first step you have to set the minimum record as DK version of your Android application into 11. So for displaying the pop-up menu, you need to set the minimum SDK version into 11. You can set this at the time of project creation in Eclipse or Android Studio or you can change it in the Android manifest.xml file. Here you can in this tag use this, uh, use this SDK, you can change it into uh, API version 11. Okay. Now go to activity main.xml file. For displaying the pop-up menu, here I am going to add a button. Now go to the XML version. Change the text into select movie. Okay. Also add an on-click method for this button. Android on-click name the method as show pop-up ok now go to main activity.java file here you need to define that method so public void show pop-up we have to check the spelling show pop-up yeah Okay, so this method need an argument of view class. Okay, so when user click the button, the pop-up menu will appear. So now you need to create the layout for the menu. For that, just right, right click the menu folder and create a new XML file, Android XML file. I name the file as my pop-up. Okay, so we, here we got the root element menu and click finish. Now go to the XML version. Now here you need to add the items for the menu. So I add the first item. First we have to provide an ID for this item. So Android ID plus ID. I name it as action, action ID. Now you need to provide a title for this item, Android, Android title, action movies, ok. Now I add another item here, one more item, ok. Change the second item ID into romantic ID. Now change the title into romantic movies. Okay. And the final item ID change into horror ID and change it into change the title into horror movies. Okay, now I add three items into the menu. Now go to main activity.java file. So when user click the button, we have to display that particular pop-up menu. For that, you need an object of pop-up menu class. So create an object of pop-up menu. I name it as pop-up equal to new pop-up menu. So in this constructor, you need to pass two arguments. First one is the context object and second one is the view object of the anchor view. The pop-up menu is always appear at bottom or top of the anchor view. So here in this in our project, the anchor view is the button. So I pass this as context object. And here you need to pass the view object corresponding to the anchor view. So here we got the view object on this argument v. So I pass that object. Okay. Now you need to inflate that particular menu XML file. 
for that you need an object of menu inflator so first you have to create an object of menu inflator inflator equal to you have to initialize the menu inflator object using the pop-up menu pop-up object so pop-up dot get menu inflator okay now you can inflate the menu XML using the inflator method so inflator dot inflate first provide the resource r dot menu dot our XML file name is my pop-up and here you need to pass the object of the pop-up menu so use the pop-up class object dot get menu okay finally you have to show the pop-up menu for that you can just call the method called the show method okay so now when user click the button the pop-up menu will appear so we we can check the project before i have to clean the project okay now we can run the project i think the project is still building yeah it's finished building and now we can run it so run it run as android application click ok and open your emulator yeah choose the emulator click ok ok now the project is launched and I click the button you can see that the pop-up menu will appear now here there is no much more space at the top so the pop-up menu appear at the bottom of the anchor view here we got the three items action movies romantic movies and horror movies so when I click anywhere on this activity the pop-up menu will disappear or when I select an item the pop-up menu pop-up menu will disappear okay now we have to learn about how to handle the click events of a pop-up menu okay so for handling the click events you need to implement an interface called on menu item click listener so here in this main activity I am going to implement an interface called on menu item click listener okay now you need to override an abstract method on this interface so here I am going to implement that abstract method so here we got a method called on menu item click so whenever user select an item from the menu this method will invoke on menu item click okay here you got an object of menu item and you can get the ID of the selected item using this object item okay now I am going to handle the click events here for that I use a switch key statement and get the ID of the selected item item dot get item ID okay now we have to check each case R dot ID dot action movies action ID yeah this one action ID so you have to display something I display a message using a toast toast dot make a text get the base context you select action movies okay and now provide duration make it a short and now make it available using show method okay and after that you have to return uh, return true okay 
so now I handle the second case if it is romantic ID you select romantic movies one more case is needed if it is horror ID you select horror movies okay and return true and in default case you have to return false and this return statement is no longer needed I remove that one okay so for handling the click events in a pop-up menu you have to implement an interface called on menu item click listener and you have to override this method called on menu item click okay and one more thing you have to register your pop-up menu with this listener so pop-up dot set on menu item click listener now you have to provide the object main activity dot this okay okay now you now we successfully register our pop-up menu with the action listener now we can check check the project so I am going to run the application again open emulator okay now I click the button the pop-up menu will num now appear I, I choose the horror movies now we go the output you select horror movies now action movies you select action movies now select romantic movies you select romantic movies okay guys i hope you enjoy this video please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part